Hello everyone and welcome to Firepower Studio where today I'm coming at you guys with part 2 for this beautiful mansion house build tutorial. This is a very awesome mansion and uh, you're on part 2 so you already know. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, so in order to get started on this a part 2 of building the mansion, you're going to need jungle wood planks, jungle wood stairs, spruce wood, fence, glass, and a door and that should just about do it to help build this house so the first thing we're going to start with is the front porch now this porch will be extending all the way out and like I said last video what I like um, is my blocks to face straight up but what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna come out one two three four and then what you do is this is going to just be a four wide porch like this and then we are going to bring it all the way down like this and you will have a three block wide gap so just do that and come all the way down with that next what you're going to do is you're going to fill in this front porch with any kind of block of oak wood or wood not oak wood any block of wood just sort of get some wood in there to level this out now what we are going to do is we're going to take our fences and we are going to surround the entire porch where you place down your spruce wood blocks and we are going to place down fences the entire way around next what we are going to do is we are going to line up with these pillars right here and place fences down just like so right in front of the pillars just like this and do that all the way down in front of each one of these pillars will be a pillar of fence now the front porch is completely finished so the next thing we're going to do is add the third floor slash roof so what we do is we first circle the entire house with your jungle wood planks next what we're going to do is we are going to take our jungle wood planks and we're going to come out one two three four just like this or just three oh no come out four and line it up with this other porch so that way you have another porch sitting on top of that second porch and this will be a third floor porch just like so coming all the way down here to the end and then just go ahead and fill it all in next what we're going to do is we are going to connect these pillars um, from the second floor all the way to the third floor just like that so as you see it's one continuous pole and you're gonna do that around all of these and then you're also going to circle the second I guess the third floor porch in fence alright it is now time to add the roof so in order to add the roof what we're going to do is we're going to start right here right where this meets the house and you're gonna take your stairs and you're gonna go up until you get well there's one two three four five and six stairs just like that so you're gonna come in six stairs and then it's gonna come straight across just like so and meet over here to where you will add six more stairs and again this will be started right here at the edge where this meets so you're gonna go one and then two three four five six all the way up just like that so now it's a nice staircase and it's gonna meet right here and there you go so there is the front porch Oop, <laughs> seems I have a messed up right here and that's why I messed up over here so boom just like that and there is the roofs angle just like that you're gonna wanna go ahead delete these stairs out right here and then you're gonna refill this in with straight up jungle wood planks alright so you should fill it in and it should look just like that next what we're going to do is we're going to take these stairs and make them pop out on each side just like this going all the way around and then at the top we will pop it out with our jungle wood planks just like this coming all the way down and then make it pop out coming down the other side just like so 
And now what we're going to do is we are going to take the stairs and we are going all the way down to one over that edge. So take every single stair and just go straight this way with it until you get one over the edge, just like this, oops, <laughs> just like this right here, one over the edge. And then come and do that to every single stair. All right, now once you have the roof completely filled in like so, what we're going to do is we are going to fill in this third floor by coming right at this line right here. We uh, placed down a line of jungle wood around the top, and you're going to go right along that line, and then also fill in this sidewall right here. All right, now once that is all filled in, it is time for us to add in our windows and door to get onto the front porch. So, in order to make this happen, what we're going to do is we're going to come in the direct center of the house, which is obviously where these doors are, and we're going to come up here, still direct center, bust out one, two, three, four, just like that, so that way it's a four up, and then you're going to go over one, two on each side. So you're going to have a total of a five wide gap, just like that, and it's going to go up to there just like that and now that is your front gap what we're going to do is we're going to take jungle wood and we are going to place it down and around just like so come over here and we're creating sort of like an indent into our roof which will give us this wall slash way out and in to our third floor attic area we're gonna go just like that and our door will go right here so there you have it right there I'm actually probably gonna put another layer right here cuz that looks kind of bare so we'll put another layer right here after you have added that and there you go and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill this all in with window so we're gonna place window down and this will be kinda of cool just to see out and we'll bust out right here so you can see out and there you go. So you have your little window set up just like that. And you can see out and see what's happening. And so that's where your door will go right here. Next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to skip two blocks. So one, two, and then we're going to bust out five or not bust out five. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go over three and then go one, two, three, four, five. And then come over here, go over one, two, three, and then go one, two, three, four, five. Now what's going to happen here is we are actually going to put some windows. These windows will be one, two, three, and then you are going to go up to the fourth block and it'll be a three by five window just like that. So one, two, three, or what? Oh yeah, one, two, three wide by three tall. So one, two, three. So three by three window. We're going to go do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, over just like this, and one, two, three. And there you go. Now what you do is you just bust out going directly back like so. And we will connect all of this right here just like that. And this just like that. And this will be a little window area that you can actually wander into and walk into and, you know, just chill, hang out, see what you can do inside this window. So we'll make it a little area like this filling it in and then you can fill in all that if you want or you don't have to fill it in at all you know it's up to you completely you can leave it like that if you want to I guess I filled in right here next what we're going to do is we're going to sort of make this like a peak is this yeah that's three so we're gonna go up one two and then one on each side and now we take our stairs and we place down just like this which makes a peak of a window Oops, and then we're going to also come out one with it like this. Just come out one, and then over like this. One like that. Doing it all the way down, just like so. Now what you do is you actually continue this into your house, so or into the roof. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to break this. Oops, break. No, that got it right. There we go. I shouldn't have broken this stair right here, so don't break that stair. Leave that there. And then that just turns right there into that. You come over to here, 
break out this stair, place it down sideways, and it goes in like that. Then we'll come over with this one. Let's actually bust this roof out because what's going to happen here is you're going to be able to see out, what is that, a bat? They added bats to this game? And they're in my attic? I have bats in my attic? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm getting distracted right now. Okay, what's going to happen is this is going to be like a little area again, a little room. Let's come back and come across and bust out this one and place it like that Ooh, like that and then you're gonna come straight back with a block and this block will bust out right there coming straight back and then straight over with this one and then straight over with this one into here and we will go inside and make this cleaner looking then over here you do this and boom and then you fill in your window just like so before it gets too dark here and now I'm actually going to place upside down stairs here this looks kind of funky so we'll place down upside down stairs just like so maybe not that last stair no that last stair works so we're gonna place up down upside down stairs just like that and I'll do the same thing that we just did right there to right here all right, so there we go. There the house is. It really came together nicely. I love it a lot. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add some features on the outside that will really make it look good. It'll just kind of add a little bit more of a of a house feeling to it. So what we're going to first do is we're going to come here and we're going to go three up just like this and then wrap around in slabs, stone slabs. Just like this and this will be our entrance and then what I like to do is I like to come in three just like this and you know come out a decent distance and make a porch now what you can do is you can make this like a solid like cobblestone you can make it solid gravel I like to mix and match you know just kind of like spam in some cobblestone and then fill in with gravel like so and kind of just get like a sandy gravelly patch just so we have some texture and it's going to look like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come under the window seals and we are going to put little planters. So what you do is you do this, three pieces of grass underneath each one. Surround each planter in your trap doors. Place down two fences underneath. And then what I like to do is I like to go rows, dandelion, rows. So that's rows, dandelion, rows. We're going to go around it in trap doors and just like that. And then you've got two planters underneath the windowsill and we'll do the same thing over here. And now this house is in desperate need of some lighting, you know, to keep the mobs away and then also to, you know, make it brighter and make it look nicer. So what I do is I like to put torches on each one of these pillars just like so. And then you can also put them in between each window seal if you want, like this. And then I also like to make a lamp post out of glowstone and fences. So we'll go up four high, come over one, and place down glowstone like this. And if you think that hangs too low, you know you can move it up one. But I like making my lamp post like that. Also, inside here, we'll add some light just so it looks better. Uh, right now, I am not going to be doing a interior just because this has been a total of two hours in total of recording and editing on top of this is going to take a little bit longer so I will be doing the interior in a few days you know we're going to need a stairs to get up here you're going to need ways to get in ways to get out and we'll put in some bedrooms and some kitchens and some cool little designs here and there but uh, that's not going to be out today. That's going to actually be a different day when I can actually, you know, wrap my head around it. And right now I'm kind of beat on this house. This is a lot of building. And if you did it, let me know in the comments below. And also tweet me. Take a picture of it. Tweet it to me on Twitter. My at is always in the description of every video. So hit me up and be like, yo, I built the house. And I want to see it. And, uh... So that'll be cool. Also, take your torches and place them up here, like so. 
light up this place a bit. And then what you can also do is, you know, if you want, you can like place them on fence posts like that. And then up here, go ahead and place them around each one of these windows. Just like that. And boom, there it is, your beautiful mansion. Wow, that looks amazing. It's honestly, it's like my favorite mansion. It looks so good. It looks very nice. You know, especially starting from the bottom up. Oh, kind of missed something here. Uh, I went ahead and I broke out one more top. I don't know if I like it better or worse. I don't like it as much. So we'll actually take a jungle wood plank, place it like that. And there we go. So that's that's the that's the mansion. It looks really nice. And you know, before in part one, it it wasn't looking so hot. You know, you're like, oh, stack two of those. But once you add all the features, it starts to look good. Well, we will add some windows over to that side, maybe like a little balcony thing. But uh, that'll be in the interior video. But that is the mansion. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I like it a lot. I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome house tutorials and subscribe to join the Fire Nation. I am Firepower and this fire is burning out. I will catch you all later. Peace.